Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. I'm leaving home on my way to work. So what I want to do today is... Um, every now and then I usually want to do videos where I, I show you guys how my day goes by, right? So I just decide on a random day. Like today I just decided it's, it's not like I planned it, right? And the whole idea is to give you guys that want to be part of the local intermodal to give you kind of an idea of how um, how the day goes by, what you do, uh, how many loads and something like that. So right now the time is 1.44. I'm running a little bit of uh, late. Uh, luckily for me, like my place of work is not very far from from home so i'm still good uh, when it comes to time right but i'm just gonna show you like briefly how my day goes by made it to work on time um, I think because it's a Sunday there hasn't been a lot of traffic so that has helped uh, for those of you by the way that are new to the channel and don't know I work a four hour week I mean a four day week uh, it's a weekend schedule which means I start on Friday I work Saturday Sunday and Monday four days that is my work week uh, I'm gonna I want to take you by the other side I want to pass this side I should have passed here because I park right there but I want to show you something since we are talking about uh, how the day goes by lately we have been uh, slow this quarter I have no idea why uh, is to do with um, I guess our customers business has been slow this quarter it is i've never seen us um stack containers during the fourth quarter but as you can see i wanted to pass by here so you can i can show you you see how all these containers are stacked usually it's after the holidays it's in uh, around maybe january or around feb or like those are uh, those are first months is when we stack up but look at all these containers right here they are all stacked up and i think this began way back in like i don't remember is it august or september something like that so it's kind of like a surprise to me really uh look at all that i don't know if you guys can see like look at all those They are all stacked up and so we are not as busy as we should be but JB Hunt still uh, does a good job of keeping us busy um, so I don't know how many loads I will have today yesterday I did two loads I got off uh, before no I got off at midnight now I should have I could have asked for uh, maybe like another short load to see if they have one but I was kind of tired I just didn't bother maybe they had something close by I don't know but I only did two loads I had a refer live uh, and uh, a life load in uh, sulfur springs and then um, I came and did another short load so I could have checked with them to see usually it's good if you you have the time and you want to always always don't be afraid to ask uh, for a load so right now it's two or three I'm just gonna get in my truck and we'll start the day I have two pre plans on me the first pre plan they gave me um, 
it was uh, the load is still on on the train it was a load going to Wilma but it's still on the train so right now I have a load going to Walmart and then a load picking out of uh, Amazon so I'm going to DeSoto which is almost the same place as Dallas I'm going to DeSoto and then picking up from Dallas DeSoto is a suburban of Dallas right now the time is 2.34 the spaces in the rail right so even the spaces themselves tell you that uh, it's kind of slow because when it's busy all the spots are, are packed in that's why they even expanded the rail I remember when I first came here like it wasn't this big but look at all these spaces So there's some stuff that is on the train hopefully most of it or some of it delivers today so i can keep busy but at least i'm grateful that right now i have two on me i should be back and get maybe another one and then another one if i can put in five that would be good sitting with my first load at 2.48 Sometimes it really amazes me how fast buildings can, can grow this place right here this is a new building this place was just you know like nothing just shrubs now we have a warehouse here in just a couple of months amazing so the time right now is 3 48 just made it here Walmart DeSoto for my first drop. Most of that time, I'll say 99.9 .9 of the time we drop, I mean we pick up from this location. I don't remember if I've ever dropped actually a load here so I wasn't sure if they were gonna let me take an empty from here but at least I'm glad they they have let me take an empty out that way I don't have to look for an empty I was already thinking of some places but I don't have to look for one now so right now the time is 407 I'm gonna check out here at the gate and I will head to Dallas
but time right now is 4.22. Made it to my second pickup. Amazon Dallas. so they've asked me to drop the empty here and then go pick up my lord from their off-site which is in Fulgham so when that happens for those of you that are new to JB Hunt when they ask you to drop like if you drop like I dropped my empty here, right? And then I'm going to pick up my load from somewhere else. They have to pay me for that as if it's another load. So I'm going to be paid for an extra stop. And um, you have to put in an exception. If you don't do that, there's no way your manager knows. So you always have to remember if that happens. <music> time is five o'clock I'm leaving with my second load heading back to Hazlet they've already given me another pre-plan which comes back to Dallas it's a place that I really don't like going to because because of how that area is so tight getting in there but at least I have load number three pre-planned that comes in at one o'clock but I have to uh, I don't have to be back by one o'clock I have to be back by two o'clock but I try and do my best uh, to accommodate him when I can and get back so it, as as soon as possible so he can use the truck but uh, my schedule I have to be back by 2 o'clock so it just depends on how that day is going for me if I can make it back by 1 o'clock I will I'll make it back if I don't if I I can't make it I can't make it right now the time is 7 14 p.m. I'm done with my break heading to Dallas and they have given me a pre-plan which will be coming from Wiley going to Louisville so this is load number 3 
three and then the one coming from Wiley will be load number four most likely by the time I'm done with that I'll just be coming back home the good thing is Welcome to JB Hunt Gatekeeper. If you are a JB Hunt driver, press 1. If not, please enter your driver number followed. Please enter your truck number followed by the pound. Please enter your trailer number followed. saying that the good thing is you remember that Amazon load that had had an extra stop right? because I picked it up from somewhere else so that will make it you know like as if I had five loads uh, I'm thinking by the time I'm done with load number four, Louisville coming back most likely it will be time to bring in the truck for my sleep center we'll see i don't like coming this side because these the lens are too small lucky for me it's uh, sunday night so you don't have a lot of cars but when you come this side during rush hour it's like Jesus Christ and all the routes I know that lead to this place are the same route uh, it's the same problem tiny lanes so that time right now is 8.17 Made it to my delivery here. I think they don't want us getting in there, so I'm gonna park here. And then they will let me know what they want me to do. They've told me to go check in on the other side. So these guys have like two places that gate right there where I stopped, and then there is another place just around the corner. So sometimes you don't know which place to go to. I usually come to this one. And it's like, when I come here, they usually tell me to go check in on the other side. The address of the paperwork says this place. And then they want me to go. I guess there are two like gates. So right here is where I'm gonna check in. And chances are these guys are gonna tell me to take it back on the other side. <laughs> and like, like drop it on the other side. customer at nine o'clock right now the time is 9.53 I'm picking up lot number four from Wiley and then I take it to Louisville uh, which is uh, Kellogg's
Okay, so I just wanted to show you this. So when I go to KCS, the bills were not in the bill box. Usually what I do in that case, since I'm at KCS, I will just um, send a message to my manager letting them know that I need the bills and then they will fax all, uh, them over. I had never thought of using the app, so I decided to use the app this, side, uh, this time uh, because um, all you have to do is to get either uh, an email address or you get uh, a fax number. So I got their fax number and I, I put it in there. As you can see here, when I first put it in, uh, it, uh, the app rejected it. So what I did, I removed, you know, like the brackets and the, uh, the dash that I have in there. And then it was able to go. The problem is when I went to check on the fax, it came back funny. It, you know, like as you can see, it is like quarter of the bill. I don't know why. So I had to tell my manager to, to fax them over. And then when they fax them over, I got the real bill right here. I've lost some good time there waiting for, for bills to be faxed. I don't know if it's the fax machine that is it working very well or what? But at least I have them now. I'm on my way. The time right now is 10.33. I'm leaving KCS at 10.33. inside to ask them they said I think I had to wait for like 10 minutes for the pumps to come back on I think they were doing something with them so now I'm done 12.52 heading to to the yard So hopefully that gives you an idea of um, what a day looks like. Of course, every day is different. Uh, you never know how the day is going to turn out. But for those of you that are hoping to do like intermodal, local, that is what happens. It's just like drop and hooks most of the time, especially for uh, if it's the weekend. 
Now, during the week, uh, during weekdays, you do have some lives, maybe one uh, live um, in your day, uh, maybe like two or three in a week. It just all depends. But uh, for those of us that work on, on the weekend, most of them are quick drop and hooks. But as I said in the beginning, as you can see that containers up there, uh, it's been a little bit of slow given that this is the fourth quarter. You, we, we should be busier than we are. But JB Hunt is doing a good work at trying to keep us busy. All right, friends, I hope and pray that you will have a blessed one. I'll catch you in the uh, next one. For those of you that want to be part of the JB Hunt team, again, I encourage you to send me your information. Or if you do go out directly to JB Hunt, let them know that Moses referred you. Give them my alpha code, K-A-N-M-8. Stay safe and stay blessed. Bye-bye.